Hi, Dr. Tanya here with Tuesday's tips to keep your family healthy and safe. Today we're going to talk about COVID-19 testing. And I know that you've been hearing a lot about testing on the news, from your doctor's office, from the local schools, on what tests you need to get in to return. So I'm going to try to break it all down simply, as there are three types of tests that we're going to talk about today. Molecular test, antigen test, and antibody test. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do and please give me feedback and let me know topics that you'd like me to cover on other shows. I'm coming to you every Tuesday with tips to keep your family healthy and safe. Okay, so today we're talking about COVID-19 tests. So molecular tests and antigen tests are the two diagnostic test options that we have available. These both can diagnose COVID-19 and say whether or not you have it. Now they cannot tell you how sick you're gonna be. They cannot tell you how contagious you are. They can just tell you that these tests found COVID-19 in your body. So let's start with the molecular test. The molecular test looks for pieces of the virus. In your nose through a nose swab, on a throat swab, a cheek swab, or a saliva test. Now, some of these newer molecular tests are actually rapid tests that can be done in your doctor's office. Most of them, though, are PCR send-out labs, where it can take days, even up to a week, which is not very useful. When I send out a PCR test from my office, I actually get it back in 12 to 24 hours most of the time, and once in a while it does take a little longer. You always wanna ask about the turnaround time, though, because if it's gonna take three, four, five days to come back, well, that's not super helpful in terms of knowing, do you have COVID-19? Do you need to contact trace and let other people know? You should be staying home and isolating anyway if you have any illness right now until you know for sure what it is. Now, there are PCR tests that are going to be available in your doctor's office soon, like the BioFire, and I will be having that in my office soon, and that will be a one-hour PCR test that not only tells you if you're COVID-19 positive, but if you have any other virus that's detected in your nose, such as RSV, flu, A or B, human metanumavirus, rhinovirus. So that can be very useful in not only diagnosing COVID-19, but giving you an answer to what is causing your illness, which may help get kids back to school sooner during cold and flu season or people back to work sooner. The um, most common molecular tests that you're seeing in the office right now are Abbott ID and the Q. And although they are both very good tests, um, just like all the molecular tests, they have a very high sensitivity and specificity and are very accurate, they tend to be expensive. So this is something that you have to weigh the cost benefit of the price and how quickly you need to know what the answer is to the question, is my illness COVID-19? Antigen tests tend to be less expensive. So in some ways that can be very useful when you need to test a large population of people. Because when you're sick, you wanna know for sure do you have it or not. But having a less expensive test where you can test more people more often may be a good way to be able to look at entire population and make sure that those that have COVID-19 stay home and don't infect others. Antigen tests, though, are not as sensitive and specific. They look for a protein of the virus in your nose or in your throat. And if you have that protein, then yes, COVID-19 was detected. If it was not detected, though, it does not mean for sure that your illness is not COVID-19. You must send a follow-up molecular test because the antigen tests are not as reliable, but they are good because they're fast and they're less expensive. The third type of test is an antibody test. And an antibody test checks your blood, usually with a venipuncture lab draw, but sometimes with a finger poke, to look and see, do you have antibodies that show a past infection to COVID-19? Usually at least two or three weeks ago or longer. Now, this can say if you were exposed or if you had COVID-19. It cannot tell us though if you're immune to COVID-19. We think there's probably some level of immunity for three to six months, we don't know for sure. Um, it cannot tell how long that those antibodies will be with you though. So the reason antibody test is useful because if you've had COVID-19 and you have antibodies in your blood, you can donate your blood, you can donate your convalescent plasma. And this has been useful in treating people who are in the hospital suffering from COVID-19. So that is why it's a good idea to know if you have antibodies against the virus because it can be 
use to help others. But it cannot diagnose COVID-19 at that moment. An antibody test is not really useful in an urgent care to say, yes, I have COVID-19 or I don't. So other things about the test, you know, I think that testing is just as important as wearing a mask, washing your hands, staying a good distance away, or it all comes into play. It all gives more layers of protection when we're talking about finding out what is the level of COVID-19 in our community. Are we okay to start safely reopening schools or businesses, or do we need to wait because our numbers are too high? Or maybe in our little small community of one school, how are our numbers? And whenever somebody gets sick, can we quickly test and diagnose them and contact trace? Let's not forget that when somebody is, comes down with COVID-19, the most important thing we can do is send them home and then contact trace. That means look at everyone who they have come into contact with in the last 48 hours. That means everyone who they have been in a room with for more than 15 minutes within six feet of, and those are the next set of people that need to be tested, that need to quarantine at home and potentially be retested before we can say for sure that they don't have COVID-19 and they can go back to usual activity. So all of these tests are important. All of these tests play a role in diagnosing and treating and decreasing the spread of COVID-19. The use of each test really depends on your own situation. So always talk to your primary care physician. They should really be the one testing you, testing your family or referring you out to be tested and following up on your labs because somebody needs to make sure that if you are positive that you are properly contact tracing your friends and family and that you are being very careful monitoring your signs and symptoms and knowing if you get too sick when to act when to go to the doctor or the hospital or even to the emergency room if needed the majority of people who get COVID-19 are doing fine but it is a very serious virus it is also a very unusual virus that is affecting people in very unusual strange ways and often very serious ways and so it's something that we really need to pay a lot of attention about and we all need to work together to decrease the spread in our community to keep our community safe and healthy if you have any other questions, please leave them here. I'll be back to you next week with more information to keep your family healthy and safe.